Hey everyone, my name is Megan and today we'll be going over how to build rations. So let's go to the rations tab and that's on the left hand side of your screen. And then from here, we'll go to the upper right hand side of your screen and hit that add ration button. Now from here, we'll enter in your ration name in that white box. And then we'll click add feed. And you can click that however many times you need to in order to have enough uh, places for each feed ingredient. So I'm gonna put my feed in here real quick. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna put in um, the percentage of each feed ingredient that should be um, in this ration. So you'll notice that my ration equals 100%. You can see that right here. And just a couple things to note on this page is if right now it's on an as fed basis, but if you want it on a dry matter basis, all that you need to do is click that dark gray box that says a percentage as fed. And you can see that it's now a percentage by dry. I'm gonna keep it um, on as fed. And then the last thing to note on this page is you see that light green or light gray box um, with a single percentage sign. If you click on that, let's do it right down here. If you click on that, you'll see pounds per head. And this is an option for those ingredients that you don't add um, very much to a ration. And so it's best for it to be on a pounds per head basis. Um, so that is an option for you. Uh, so from here, let's go click uh, save on the upper left hand side of your screen. And you'll see right down here is our ration, ration. <laughs> um, so uh, you'll notice that I have um, the percentage as fed showing and the percentage as dry showing. Uh, but if you want one or the other, um, showing, then we can change that and you can kind of customize how this page looks um, for you. So where we would go and do that is in your account settings. So the three white horizontal bars, if you click on that and you scroll down to where it says ration setting. Um, and then that red box that says ration page display. Right now I have it set as it showing as fed and dry matter, but if you want one or the other, then you just click that white box and then you can select what you want to show. So if I wanted to just show the as fed percentage, which is the default, then if you go back to your rations page, you'll only see that as fed percentage. Let's just hop back into your account settings. I'm gonna change mine to as fed and dry matter. And the last thing we'll look at um, for the ration settings is that maintain ration percentage. Right now I have it on dry matter percentage, but the default is as fed percentage. So what that is, um, is if it were on as fed, just click on that, hop back into rations. So if I were to change what my dry matter was for each ingredient in the inventory tab, the as fed amount would stay the same. But if I had, um, if I had maintain ration percentage and I chose dry matter percentage, if I change the dry matter in that inventory tab, then this percentage right here would stay the same. Even if I changed, like I said, that dry matter percentage in that inventory tab for each individual ingredient. So you can kind of customize how you want it set up. Um, talk to your nutritionist to see what way is better for you if you don't know already. Um, 
But now um, that we have our ration, um, ration, let's assign it to a pen. So we'll do that in the overview page. And then here you'll notice my pen one, it doesn't have any rations assigned to it. So you'll notice the default no ration white box. All that we need to do is click that. You see, will see a drop down of all your different rations that you have. Let's just choose that ration, ration for both delivery one and delivery two. And then from here, we'll put in a target feed weight for each delivery. Okay, so um, put in a thousand pounds for each delivery. And you'll notice on the right hand side, I have a white box um, and it is pounds for dry matter intake per day. So if you don't have that um, setting turned on to where you see that white box and you can edit that number, where you would go to do that is in your account settings. We'll scroll down to where it says overview settings. And from here, we'll want to look for target delivery. So mine is set at dry matter intake per day and as fed. Um, the default is as fed only. So if it were on the default, show you what that looks like. You'll notice that that white box isn't there. So um, let me just go turn that setting back on to dry matter intake per day and as fed. And I'll show you what that, what that does. So let's say that you wanted to base your target weight off of what you want your dry matter intake to be per day. So if you want it to be 10 instead of eight, you type that in and watch these two numbers right here. They updated to 1162. So that's what that setting does. Um, and then along with this, if you were to change rations, it'll still update that number, but if you don't want it to update that number that, and you want your dry matter to be held constant, how you would do that is account settings again, and then the maintain target. So mine right now says maintain as fed, but if we choose maintain DMI, then if I were to change rations, You'll notice that my dry matter intake held constant, but my targeted weight changed. So let's just do that again. So right now it's 1311 for the target feed weight. If I change it, it'll go to 1162. But my dry matter was held constant. So um, those are just a few things that I would turn on if that's what you want. Um, Talk to your nutritionist to see what setting would be best for you based on your operation. Um, but yeah, for now, um, that's how you build rations and assign rations to the pen and as well as uh, assign a targeted feed weight for each pen. So stay tuned in two weeks. Uh, we'll be showing you how to uh, build loads and also how to feed with the scale app. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be in two weeks. So make sure you stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys later.